My room is always the coldest room in the winter time. When the real cold comes, my mom pulls out this big suitcase with the heavy blanket from the garage. She tells me what to do, and even though I don't know how to understand her, I still know how to obey her. She lays the blanket over me, and I feel maybe it's about eight inches thick. It's heavy above me, and it's heavy below me, and it makes me feel kind of safe. It's also kind of hard to breathe. When I leave from the blanket, it remembers my imprint. If I crawl back in, I could lay where I used to be, or I could keep crawling. I could keep crawling for days or years if I want to. I could crawl to when I was 60 or to when I was 6. I could crawl to when Chris was alive or when my dog was alive. I crawl through the snake mouth in my parents' garden and I eat some tomatoes. Where I see my dog who hates me, so I spray him with a hose. I guess it was wrong, but I mostly just think it's funny. My dad comes out into the yard discovering what I've done and turns to find me and reprimand me. But I'm already crawling back through that void. I emerge in a drifting cloud of smoke through the end of a joint that Chris and I share at Berkeley Lake. We always get high here, but when he's working at the Sunflower down the street, I buy ginger drinks so I can stay high. He asks if Rachel can come next time, and it hurts my feelings, so I stop hanging out with him. Rachel tells me about their awkward meetings and how he shouted her name from the Platte River. He also gives her two stones. One is for her and one is for me. One is white and one is silver and they have holes so we can wear them around our necks if we want to. I keep crawling. Dun dun. Let him in now. I'm gonna knock it down. Five, four, three, two, I emerge through blankets into my small house made of chairs that is immediately destroyed by him. <laughs> What's this? You're ruining my house! Get out of here! Because my sister told him to do it. And he's good at obeying. <laughs> I keep crawling. I grow up again and get a text that Chris has passed away. And I wonder if I'll always get the worst news like this. And if I should keep rocks from ephemeral friendships.
dog's name is Damon because he was supposed to be like a good demon to protect my family. But I always thought he was a jerk. I use demons to protect me too. But they always turn into what I wanted protection from. Now I don't believe in good or bad demons because everything has both. And so do I. So I crawled back, away from the past, and the future, and obedience, and scorpionic tendencies, until I'm going nowhere. And I'll just be here. <laughs>